Most photographers have more than one camera. Now, it may be that they have a professional body and a mobile camera on their phone and a point and shoot. And some photographers even go as far as to have a Canon and a Fuji and a Nikon camera. But the problem is that all of these cameras have different sensors on them and they receive light in a different way and they read color in a different way. They have a different color response on every single sensor. Even if you're using the same camera maker and the same body of the camera maker. So if I have two uh, Canon 5D Mark IVs, depending on when those sensors were made, they might have slightly different color responses as well. Where that becomes a challenge is that when I'm shooting a job and I have multiple cameras, and this happens a lot on a wedding photo job because I have assistants that have different cameras, all of the images, while they're supposed to look the same and have the same style, they all have different color responses and so they look very different. This is why we need to calibrate our cameras. And I'm going to teach you how to make all of your cameras, no matter what brand they are or what style of camera they are, whether they're mirrorless or whether they're a DSLR or whether they're a Micro Four Thirds camera, we can make them all look like they came from the same camera, the same photographer with the same beautiful style. And that's where the color checker passport comes in. Now we can take a photo of the color checker passport with our cameras at any point during the photo job or even at the beginning of the month. As long as we have all of our cameras together, we simply take a picture with each camera of the color checker passport in two different types of light. By taking a photograph of the color checker in two different sources of light, we are able to create something called a dual illuminate profile, which is basically a master profile that understands how your camera sees color in almost every kind of light. And that's why we want to have a photograph of it in a warm light and in a cool light so that we can really get a nice spread between all of the different possible color responses your camera could have to various forms of light. Once we get back to the computer for post-processing, we can simply calibrate for the color responses on each individual camera by simply selecting both images from this camera. So this is a 70D, a Canon 70D. We simply highlight the incandescent light shot and the shot that was taken outdoors in the sun. Once we've highlighted them, simply go to the export dialog box and instead of choosing to export to a hard drive, if we've installed the X-Rite plugin for Lightroom, we simply click on that drop-down menu and go to the X-Rite preset. Once we've done that, we're going to name our profile and we're going to name it whatever the camera is. So this is a 70D, so we will call this a Canon EOS 70D. And then we'll hit the export button. The X-Rite software then simply takes the color information that it's gleaned from both of those photos and creates one profile for your camera. And that profile will translate the color from your sensor's version of the color it sees to the actual real color that we know from the color checker passport itself. This means that the color from every single one of your cameras will be translated so that they all have the same appearance. So the red from your Nikon will look like the red from your Canon. Once you restart Lightroom, you'll find your profile has been installed in the profile area, which is right here above the temperature and tint controls inside of Lightroom's develop module. Go over to the four square icon to the right of the profile area. This is where you enter into the browser. And in the profile browser, you'll find below the favorites and Adobe Raw and camera matching area, you'll find the profiles you've just made. And by hovering over them or clicking on them, you will be able to apply the profile to your image. So let's do that now and show you the difference that it really makes. So watch the image on the left as I roll over the Canon 70D profile. Do you see how the yellows change and the reds change? We are seeing the color definition change right before our eyes. So if I click on that, it will apply that profile to the image and now that color will match all of my other images 
that I've taken in the same location with different cameras. But if you want to create a profile for use in Capture One, you'll need to go to Capture One and export a TIFF that has a few specific settings. In the color panel, you need to tell the ICC profile drop down menu to not have any color corrections. And then you'll also have to tell the curve to be a linear response curve. Once you've done that, you can export a TIFF file that is uncompressed and embeds the camera profile. Export that to your desktop. Click on the ICC TIFF settings for the color checker camera calibration and simply drag the TIFF file into the window. And the camera calibration software will recognize all the color swatches and create your profile. That profile will be added to the profile folder and ready for use inside of Capture One. So whether you're using two cameras just documenting travels or you're using 12 cameras on a major job, it's important to make sure that you have consistent color across all of your cameras. And you do that by creating a master profile with the Color Checker Passport. Now I want you to look at these five photos and tell me which was shot with the Canon 5D Mark IV, the Canon 70D, a Nikon D810, and also the Canon EOS R. They all look the same because all of them have a profile associated with the camera and so all of the color is equalized. In this set of images, we're shooting with flash, we're shooting in shade, we're shooting in full sun, and all of the images have the same beautiful relative color even though they were shot with three different cameras. Here again, you're looking at images from multiple cameras and yet because of the profiles attached to each camera, the colors are completely consistent all the way across all cameras. And here we've added an image from the iPhone 6S which while its lens creates way too much depth of field and so you can definitely see that it's a different camera, the profile attached to it creates a very consistent color look to the rest of the images. Now I promise you that if you will do this, if you will create a master profile for each one of your cameras, and if you will apply that master profile to the default settings on each camera in Lightroom, so that on import, those images are receiving that profile before you ever even look at them, you're gonna save so much time in post-production. You're gonna have better quality images and you're gonna have more consistent color across all of your images right out of the gates. So get to it, take pictures of your color check or passport and make sure that you make those master profiles for every single camera you have.